I'm meteorologist Cindy O'Quinn. The UF Weather Centers are looking at your forecast this afternoon. We could see a couple of spotty showers, but not going to be a lot of activity at least until later this afternoon, this evening. And that is when we're expecting that cold front to continue to approach. As it does, it's going to bring us a chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms. Even some could have some heavy rain as we're watching in closer to around midnight. And then on Tuesday, we're sort of left with those scattered clouds behind the front, uh, sort of stratocumulus clouds. And it's actually going to feel a lot cooler with the clouds, the breeze, and then the actual temperatures in the upper 70s. And it's going to be a remarkable change from what we've seen the last few days. Your hour by hour forecast, so shows us today our last warm summer like day 89 degrees at 2 p.m. still 88 at 4 p.m. Notice we're going to up our chance of rain of just some typical afternoon sea breeze activity, but really start to see those rain chances increase by 8 p.m. as that cold front does start to approach into north central Florida and then we'll keep those rain chances on the higher side to at least about midnight and then start to taper them off. Your three big things. Cold front ends the summer heat. Cooler temperatures at least a 10 plus degree temperature change ahead. And then the tropics, no Florida threat over the next five days. So as we continue to watch things, here's what it looks like with a cold front boundary by tonight, moving through parts of north central Florida. And that goes a tropical air back down in the Gulf of Mexico. But as this front comes through, enough moisture that we'll see a few showers and thunderstorms. But watch how quickly that dry air begins to sink southward. As it does, we're going to see a lot of that drier, cooler air settling in to a good chunk of the state of Florida. Now, the very southern tip, you're going to keep those warmer temperatures, but that cold front will bring drier weather and definitely some much cooler temperatures. Those highs, as we're taking a look at things, only into the upper 70s tomorrow. So, much cooler days shaping up. And also a dry week ahead as we're looking at those temperatures and into the lower 80s. So, 77 tomorrow, Gainesville, 76 for a high in Lake City, 77. And the Live Oak in Jacksonville along the coast, 74 degrees and also 74 in St. Augustine. So breezy and much cooler. Just a slight chance of an isolated shower very early in the morning. But I want to show you then the lows. And on Tuesday night, notice this by Tuesday night, Wednesday morning, 61 degrees in Gainesville, Lake City, 58 degrees and 57 in Live Oak. So much cooler temperature change. Here's your extended forecast, and we're going to keep those. More normal seasonal temperatures through the rest of the week. Next chance of rain then after this cold front is on Sunday.